cleanliness is next to managerliness. Love you too. Bye. What's up, guys? Today there won't be any install videos or how-to videos, or I'll probably do some motivation for you guys as usual. But as you saw on Instagram, I'm feeling a bit under the weather, and um, I had to work the whole weekend just to get the old shop clean and everything out of there. Um, we've got a massive bin. I'm just throwing everything away, and. Um, yeah, just one of those Mondays. So there's a whole lot of you guys that asked me what bike do I ride and I've actually put a photo on Instagram about the Merida Team Edition that I ride. Um, it looks like this at the moment. There's a lot that I need to do. I'm still waiting for my fork. Um, I'm trying to upgrade. I've got an old crank on here. Um, just a 10 feet groove set, but the frame's quite nice. I'm going 11 or 12 speed on this. One of these days, I um, need to upgrade the handlebars and so on to carbon. I've only got aluminium things on here. So I will be doing that one of these days. Uh, but for now, just to get this runny nose out of the way. And um, I'm actually just waiting for my shock as well. As soon as that's back, then I'll be back on the bike. So yeah, as most of you guys know, I really need something to keep me going or to motivate me or um, to intrigue me or uh, get me interested. I'm not sure what the words are I'm going to have to use for those. As I'm going to get my bike up and running again to start cycling. Um, most of you guys know I rode professional for about six years. So yeah, I need to get this going again. I'm really missing that. Um, it is cold, but I think I can manage off the noon ride or yeah there. But as you guys know, I'm moving into the car scene as well. I really want to do this. Um, my granddad was a panel beater for most of his life. I loved watching, me, watching him work, the things that they were able to do with their hands. And um, there's a few cars I'm looking at. They are quite expensive and I need to save up for them. I mean, it's not that I've got funds just to buy them. But I'm looking at maybe getting an MX-5 or the BRZ or Toyota 86. I think it's the same vehicle. I don't know. What do you guys think? The thing with the MX-5 is it's quite cheap and I think if I have something like that and I do something like that there's a lot of you guys that will be interested in that and will be able to afford it as well I mean it's quite cheap you can buy something like that for about $4,000 maybe about 65,000 Rand will we get something like that um, the BRZ is nice but I'm scared to cut in a, into a car that expensive for my first car I really think the, the MX-5 should be something I'm leaning towards more and you can really make those quite nice for not too much money. Yeah, I've been having this discussion on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, what about the Audi? That one there. That'll be my daily driven um, car. Uh, my wife will be able to use it. You really fit everything inside there. It's quite big. But I do need a toy. And I mean, there's, there's so much that you can do with the MX-5, but then again, that BRZ or the 86, they do look good. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe for affordability, I'll go for the MX-5 to start with and to get my feet um, about cutting into the body of a car. I think that's the craziest thing I'll ever do um, is cutting into the body of a car and to modify it or to change the appearance of the car. But I mean, MX-5, BRZ, I don't know. How would you guys comment down below? Let me know which one you will be willing to follow me on uh, with um, the MX-5. Um, Give it a thumbs up or the BRZ. Um, give me comments down below um, what footage you guys will want to see. If, and uh, then I'll uh, see which one I can get. I think, like I said, the MX-5 will be more affordable and there will be a lot of guys who will be able to afford it um, to be able to follow the build. And um, I'm not sure part-wise, um, body kits, wheels, etc. I think the wheels shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Um, interior as well, but exterior. 
I don't know if there's a lot of things available in South Africa. Yeah, get commenting. Alright guys, I think the motivation for today, um, talking about the scores and what I want to do and I'm scared about doing something like this because uh, for number one, it's a lot of money and number two, yes I do it for myself but I really want to share it with you guys and if it's not interesting then I don't think it will be interesting for me but yeah, I'll just have to make it interesting. The thing I want to talk about for the motivation for today, if you've got a burning desire to do something, do everything in your power to be able to make that possible. Um, I know it's not always easy and it's not always cheap but it's definitely satisfying um, with me moving the store it wasn't easy and it's now chaotic inside the store because I need to put everything in its place and make sure I've got a place for everything because I had a bigger store and I moved to a smaller store um, I moved away from full retail and um, to doing workshop making sure I've got the best workshop where I am and um, and it's working I mean I'm enjoying the shop it's a bit smaller but it's just me working here and uh, that's all I need but for my next venture I, I've been talking about this for the last 40 videos that I want to get into the car scene and I'm going to do everything in my power to make this possible and that's the reason I'm leaning over to the MX-5 because it's a bit more affordable so guys when wanting to do something do everything in your power to make sure that happens otherwise you'll always wonder what it would have been like, would I have done it, how would the end product have been. Never back down from a challenge that you've set yourself because I'm setting this challenge myself. Make sure the challenges you set yourself, you do accomplish them. Guys be safe, stay strong and remember take that leap in full faith believing that you will land on both feet at the other side and never, never ever say never. Good. Yes, I'm so sorry I've been busy the whole day. <laughs> it's fine, thanks. Thank thanks a lot. Enjoy, be safe. You know, someone was there for me and I don't know my... What a good man. Um, just dropping off a coke me saying, dude, <laughs> there you go. And then he found a cell phone actually lying around. So if it's someone's cell phone, and we just phoned someone on that phone, the guy's name is Hendrik, the owner. Um, if you're watching the video or you know someone <laughs> lost his phone, I know there's a far stretch. Maybe we can help someone get their phone back. But yeah, like I said, I didn't expect this, I'm not expecting, I'm not asking for these things. But once again, just a little gift from one of the bros. Yeah.